Gobble, gobble. What's up? We're going to learn how to make this turkey, this semi-formal turkey. See, he's got a little black bow tie. Let's get to it. So what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you are doing okay. Yesterday was my birthday and I want to thank all of you guys. Dang, there's so many happy birthdays on my uh, Facebook page. That was super cool. So thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate it, man. You guys, is, you showed up. <laughs> so that was really cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyway, um, let's get ready to twist this balloon and before i get to that let me just real quick make sure we take care of our housekeeping and that is reminding you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so I'm trying to get back on these balloons again not messing around uh trying to be more and more consistent and today you see we got ourselves a little turkey centerpiece that you can make um that's pretty darn cute and hopefully maybe i'll do some more thanksgiving stuff uh before the uh well, before Thanksgiving actually so it can actually be useful to you and then we'll move on to some Christmas stuff and uh, be on the lookout there are other balloon channels that are already doing some Christmas stuff which is super cool okay um, I'm actually specifically talking about Mr. Keith Brinker if you haven't checked out his channel um, you see he did just did an elf on the shelf and it's uh, super cute so uh, anyway um, don't forget to visit my merch shop I do have some super cool t-shirts over there on Teespring and don't worry I'll put a link in the description below and now I think we should go ahead and get to the balloons we're gonna to use to make our little turkey center piece. All right, let's do that. Shisha! All right, your boy's got a lot of pieces here. Uh, you can tell, let's go through all of them. I'm gonna build it from the bottom up, okay? Um, whoa. So let's say, let's make, I think, probably eyes and the little uh, red piece that's on the turkey that hangs off the nose or whatever. Um, I'm gonna save those two things for last, okay? So uh, just know. These guys are gonna be last things. I'm gonna use this to make the eyes and the bow tie, okay? I'm gonna put that to the side as we explain everything. So we got our base, it's gonna be yellow. It's gonna make up a few loops, and you can see I've only blown up like halfway. Alrighty? A lot of hands grip right there. There you go, squeeze, squish, squish, squish. Alrighty? Um, and then we're gonna to go to our feet. And so one of the orange ones, either one, they're, they're pretty much blown up more or less the same size. See? Ta-da! Okay. There you go, good. All right. And then we have our, um, let's see, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and do our beak. So that's gonna do the two orange balloons. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and use our brown. That way we'll get our little arms. Uh, we'll get the back of the head and then we'll get our other arm coming out the other side, okay? So that's that one. And then we're gonna go in with the hat. And what's gonna happen is by having a piece up there on the top, um, that makes the eyes, uh, makes it really easy to swing around that portion on the top there, okay? And so this is gonna be like third to last or so, okay? Alrighty, oh, and I forgot, oh my goodness. This is the main portion of the body. I just didn't hold it up because, well, I mean, you just blow it up to whatever size you want. Like, I got like a hand strip there, like a doggone softball, okay? So there it is, all right? There's all your balloons. Let's go ahead and start twisting. Like I said, we're gonna go from the bottom up, all right? So let's start with our yellow balloon. Let's get that out of here. There we go, all right. So I'm gonna do, let's do four fingers. There we go. And let's do, uh, let's do five or six of these, all right? Go for that. See how well it comes out for you. It's gonna look like this, like that. Okay, all right. Now I have my brown balloon. Now I can go ahead and wrap it in here, okay? So now we got our body. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I wanna keep this for the top area. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, little end here. Um, if you don't have one of these and you just wanna make the body a 350 by all means. I just want to make sure to just show you the, the balloon and then uh, you make it however you wish, okay? Um, I'll, an alternative, you definitely want to go bigger with this is you could do this base out of round balloons and just build it up, okay? And have it taper. That could be kind of cool too. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do that now. I'm just taking the end of my quick link here and I'm just going to put it right inside of our uh, base that we just created. Right? There we go. Just wrap that bait around a couple times. Looks nice, there we go, pretty easy to do, all right? And alternatives, if you wanted to make this brown and this white, or a blush color maybe, um, you could probably make yourself a chicken, yeah, yes, you like that, me too. We could definitely, we're on the same, we're thinking the same, yeah. Okay, all right, so, let's go ahead and make these feet, shall we? Now, let me tell you something, um, uh, and you, you be the judge, uh, let me see, I'm gonna about four fingers there, and we'll go ahead and do a pinch twist. This guy a little squish here. I'm gonna do about right there, probably another four, three to four fingers there. And then we'll do another pinch twist. And you know what? I might have underinflated this. We'll see in just a moment, actually, because I'm gonna make the other feet. So right now we have uh this is gonna be a foot, 
pinch twist, and we're gonna go across, pinch twist, and we're gonna do another foot, and then we're gonna go wrap it around, okay? I'll show you in just a moment. Let me get the other foot here. Okay. I don't think I got it right, okay. There it is, okay, you get this guy to squish. So what's gonna happen is this gonna wrap around the where these two are connected, that we get ourselves our little feet, okay? And it's gonna wrap into the other uh, pinch twist over here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Twist that. Good. Okay, so all I'm doing is just grabbing those. Grab it all, just gonna give it a nice little pull. Twist it around, okay? I don't need the rest of this, so go ahead and chop that off, and just for you, there you go. You little prize for showing up. How about new? Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and hide this here. Good. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our other orange. That way we can do our beak. Okay. And the way I'm going to do it, um, very important, uh, because what will happen is when you got so much balloon at the top here, um, you could have the balloons like pressing against one another and wanting to roll away from each other. And so we have to, you know, try to find some way to make sure to stop that happening. And it's always with usually with an extra bubble. In this case, I'm just gonna do a, a little small bubble like this, and that should alleviate that, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do three loops, two the same size and one bigger, uh, so that way we can have our beak just to be a tad bit bigger, okay? So let's go with, again, three fingers. So this is gonna be like the cheek area. So we'll do another three, that looks pretty good. There we go. So that's what we have so far. I'm gonna do one more, okay? And we'll go just a little bit bigger. I'll four fingers out like that. Okay. All right, so that's what we have right now. And it's gonna, at this point, it might be a, it might feel a little, uh, you know, like you can see it, it won't, it's wanting to resist. But don't worry, because we got more balloons coming in and that's not gonna uh, be able to, um, uh, what's it called? It won't be able to resist in the end. You'll see what's this. So let me go ahead and wrap this baby in here. I'm not gonna break this off just yet, so I'm just gonna connect these two. Okay, now I can go ahead and get rid of this guy. Now that I've got it connected, there we go. And that's it for the orange for me, but for you, your lucky day. All right, uh, make something good with that too. If you're, getting, if, you're, if you're collecting all these scraps that I throw out, make sure you're making something good with them, okay? All right, so here's what we have so far. i do that now. Hopefully uh, not going too fast on this. Hopefully this is a good pace for you. You know, as long as you got all the balloons, it's probably not that bad. All right, let me go ahead and bring this to the front there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get an arm. So let's see. I, I like that. So just like a loop, if you were almost making a loop, see it's about three to four fingers there. That would be one arm and then I just segment it. See that? Now I can put this uh, underneath that area of our beak. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Now I'm just grabbing it around the, uh, the actual beak, not the cheek. I'm just going around a couple of times. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. And now I'm gonna go up and again, about four fingers. There we go. And I'm gonna come right back down. Okay. Let's see. That looks pretty darn good. Alrighty. Now I can pass under a little bit. Now I'm gonna pull up on this guy and make sure to give it a good twist. There we go. Okay. And now I can finish up going the rest of this. Good. Okay. Now we can measure this arm. Good squish, keep it nice and soft. Okay. And I'm just I'm just eyeballing it on this side. They look pretty darn close. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll go a little more. Okay, that's good. Alrighty, now I can go ahead and break this arm. There we go. And I'm gonna keep this one. There we go. If I'm gonna gig, this is that's usually what I would do is just put it on top of my head. I'm definitely not throwing balloons at the kids. <laughs> Actually, then maybe they wouldn't care, who knows? All right, let me go ahead and see how close I can tear this guy off. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. So now I'm gonna put these arms under a little bit of our cheek area here. Okay, good. Now you'll notice um, the arms stand, stand there pretty darn good so far, okay? Cause I got this bubble in the back here that's kind of helping that steer it a little bit, but now we're gonna come in with our our hat and then we'll do our eyes, okay? So let me go ahead and do the 
hats. Now, you know one thing I neglected to tell you when I was putting this uh, piece and talking about how much balloon is left in this. Um, I leave a tail on the end of it. And the reason for that, um, you could do it however you like, but I'll show you why, because look, I'm gonna do our uh, main portion of the hat. And the reason I like to have a little bit of tail on this is because I can actually push this uh, through the brown balloon here. See? When I push that through just the nozzle, now I can bring it through to help secure it. See that? Okay. So it just helps me. I'm going to pass it one more time. There we go. Okay. And now I can go ahead and uh, leave that just for a second because now what I'm going to do is I can come in with our white balloon. Let me go ahead and get that. Here it is. And so you'll just secure it down here at the bottom of the beak because we're gonna go up and then come right back down, okay? So let's do that now. Wrap that baby around a couple times. Good, nice and secure. There we go. Okay. Bring it up. And just uh, you can just use the brown that you already did to measure it. So you see, I just went up around here, and then we're gonna go right back down, okay? Like that. That looks pretty darn close. Okay, so I'm going to the back of the turkey's head, and I'm actually gonna hold it there just for a second. I already segmented it a little bit, and so what I'm gonna do is pull on this uh, cluster of bubbles, just make sure to go around a couple times. There we go. Okay, good. So far, so good. All right. And right now, it's really funny. It's just going to look like uh, with this little piece that's hanging out up there. Um, it's going to look like uh, just a weird hairdo or something like that. But it's just part of the hat. And we'll get rid of uh, all this, most of this, in a minute once we go around. Okay? Until we get the brim of our hat. Let me go ahead and get rid of this white balloon. There we go. Let's see. We had another one to the collection. There we go. Let me see how many I can collect on top of my head now. All right. And all I did is I tucked the white balloon inside the back there. Ready? So we're gonna go up to our hat now, and we're just gonna do a, uh, a bubble and a pinch twist. And if you saw my, my Scarecrow video, I did the same thing. I've done this uh, almost, I feel like now a good percentage of my videos, especially when it's putting a hat on a character is always doing this. So I just did a bubble, second bubble, and you'll pinch twist this guy in just a moment. Let me go ahead and segment that. Okay, so look, I'm pinching that into my fingers there, and I'm gonna grab this here. Okay. Now I can twist that. Okay. Now, careful when you do something like this um, to take note. Uh, this is, you know, uh, you got some good attention to detail because what happens sometimes if your balloon is too soft, um, this will want to come undone. Okay, so just remember that um, if you ask or if you get to this point, you're like, why is this coming undone on me? It's probably because your balloon got too soft. So just remember that. Alrighty, uh, let me go ahead and break this off. Don't need that, and we got another one to the collection. Uh, okay. So just tuck that guy in there, turn that, looks good. Okay, keep it centered. Good, okay. So you can see we almost got him. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get his eyes and then we'll go ahead and, um, actually I should do this now. Um, this little piece here, all I did is I put a little bubble on the end there, tied it, and then I just flattened it for the ribbon. Again, uh, I did this, um, I think in my last video too, so you can uh, use that again. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna jam this inside our beak area here. Get in there. There we go, good. That way he has his little, uh, his little thing. So you know what? Every year I ask this and I forget all year long until someone reminds me again. So please, if you're that person, hit me up in the comments. Tell me what this thing is, the, the red uh, chewing gum or <laughs> whatever it is off, off, off the uh, turkey's uh, beak there. Alrighty, um, what else was I gonna say? I was trying to remember something. I had something in mind, I was getting to this part, but let's go ahead and do the eyes and then maybe it'll come back to me, okay? Oh, that's what it was, uh, the tails, uh, the tail. You know, usually they have like a big old tail in the back here. Um, by all means, you know, go here, pinch twist, and then come back, oh, excuse me, put it up here. Go here, pinch twist, and then come back this way, and this leaves you a place for you to, you know, come in with another brown balloon and definitely get this big, you know, big tail if you want it to, you know, all be spread out and stuff like that. But in this case, you know, I just wanted to make sure he was something easy and cute that you could do that only end up using one uh, 260 mocha for it, okay? So let me go ahead and finish with his eyes and his little, uh, uh, his little bow tie, and they'll be done, okay? 
Alrighty, so uh, let's do about, here we go. We got uh, just the one finger and then we get another one just to match that up. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my nozzle, pull that. Okay, and I'll just go around here a couple times. I like that. And then I'm just gonna give this one a twist that way. Good, hide that nozzle there. All right, I like that. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and break it off uh, probably around here because I wanna use the rest of this and if it inflates, no big deal. I got my pump over here to make it happen. Um, and the reason I wanna leave a little bit of a tail on this, I'll show you. Let me go ahead and tie this guy off real quick before I let that one go. Okay, and what I'm gonna do actually, yeah, it stayed pretty good, okay. So the reason I'm taking, uh, look, I let the air out of this guy, I'm gonna put a little, uh, a knot. Dang, who was it? I wanna say it was the uh, Balloon Bros. You give yourself like a thick knot or a chunky knot. What did he say? Remind me if you know what it was. If you've seen a Balloon Bros video, I forget what he called the knots when it's like chunky like this. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right through those four bubbles there and I'll uh, get it on the other side. So I'm gonna feed it through, digging my fingers in one side, now I can pull on the other. We get ourselves super cute eyes for our turkey. So I pulled on it really good and I'm holding on this side, holding it in, in place. Now I can go ahead and let this guy go and now I can slowly let that go and it should stay with pressure, should stay in there just fine. Okay, there you go. So far, so good, looking cute. All right, and now we have this balloon left over here for our tie, um, our little bow tie. So you can leave him just like this. He's probably okay if you want to stop right there. You can put any color bow tie you want. I'm just gonna do a little black bow tie just to match his hat, okay? Oops, he's, he's wants, he wants to fall on the floor. I'll tell you what, I'll lay him this way. There we go. Okay, so the bow tie is just gonna be a loop, pinch twist, and another loop, okay? And that's it. Make sure we got that good. Okay, awesome. All right, and I got this big old long piece left over. I'm gonna go all the way to the very end right here. Slowly let that air out. Good. Okay. Yeah, what's nice about that, uh, having this long tail on here, is now I can easily wrap it around uh, the neck area without worrying about anything getting in the way, so. Um, or, or, or trying to like dig in there and try to find anything. So I'm just gonna hold this guy down here for a second. Okay, so all I'm doing is just uh, doing surgery. <laughs> now, I'm just holding it there just for a second, just to hold it in place. Now I can grab onto the uh, little the little tail and I'm just gonna pull it to the back here. Go around the uh, eyes a couple times. There we go, I'm just let that snap in place. And that'll leave old Junior here with a nice little bow tie. I'll hold him up here just for a moment. There we go. I think he's ready to go. Yep. Okay. Make sure I adjust him for aesthetics. He's good to go. All right. Um, a couple other things. If you want to do, uh, you know, a white 160 or, or, or flatten a... Uh, 350 white, uh, you could definitely do the little white, um, uh, little stripe or bell. I don't know what that thing is called. It goes, uh, you just hat stripe or whatever that goes across here. If you want to make him like, I guess more like a pilgrim or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, there he is right there. Hopefully you enjoy that nice little turkey that you can make. Oh yeah, don't forget, um, if you made it this far in the video, congratulations. Um, why don't you comment, uh, hmm, let's see, what's a cool thing? Oh. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. Yeah, why don't you comment that down below? That way anybody looking at this segment is gonna look down at the comments and be like, dude, what are they talking about? Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. They will love it. So anyway, um, comment also with your favorite uh, uh, food at Thanksgiving. Ah, that'd be pretty sweet. That'd be some interesting things. Uh, for me, dang, I'm a, I might be a sucker for garlic mashed potatoes. Not really turkey. I prefer ham over turkey. Is that, is that bad? Uh, you, you tell me anyway. Oh, I, I should have covered the turkey's ears when I said that. Well, maybe, actually, no, I take that back. That's probably good for the turkey. He probably loves that 
I'm eating ham instead of turkey. But anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to visit my uh, merch shop if you're trying to get balloons. Um, I got links in the, in the description below. If you can go get, you know, you can check out those things on uh, you, where you want to get your balloons and also where you can get some merch as well. Um, anyway, thank you very much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next time. Happy to listen, everybody. Bye.